Tim Marshall, and welcome to R&B Showcase Live. Today, our special guest is independent artist and musician and singer and songwriter, Justice Norwood. He's our special guest on this edition of R&B Showcase Live. Hi, I'm Jesse Peck of the Legendary Spinners, and you're watching R&B Showcase Live with Tim Marshall on Philly Cam. Uh, introduce the band. I know they're yeah they're antsy to play over here, so uh, I guess guys give it up for the Dead Flowers, baby. They're ready to rock and roll. Like you can't tell if it was genuine or I was talking smack. You've seen it all before. I'm planning my attack. Your beauty is a fact. Time to introduce my max. So I say, Hi, my name is Justice. You look so damn luscious. Oops, I mean, I just want to touch it. Oops, I mean, you sure look in love. Yeah, you got me all goofy. I'm stumbling over words I'll say to you. This don't really happen. I swear I'm usually really pretty smooth. But there's something about your face that makes me really want to tell the truth. And I can't help but tell you all the places in the plans I have. That's why I'm here on the second verse. I can't believe Thinking it. you can see my every breathing. Just sit there and smile, cause I know you can yeah. see the nerves. I ain't never felt ain't this never feeling. feeling. Yeah. Usually good at holding all of this in. But before this night shit in, 
Listen. I tell you what I yeah. have envisioned. Yeah. Yeah, you got me all goofy. I'm oh. stumbling over words I'll say to you. Wait, this don't say. really happen. I swear yeah. I'm usually really free. Really but move, there's something yeah. about your face that makes me really want to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't help but tell yeah. you all oh. the places yeah. in the plans I have for you. Tim Marshall R&B Showcase Live, coming to you from the heart and soul of Philadelphia. Our special guest is independent recording artist Justice Norwood. Justice, tell us a little bit about uh, who inspired you to want to become a singer. Um, I've been singing basically all my life. Uh, I always sing in church. I'm a, I'm a pastor's son, so uh, I was raised in the church and I sang in the children's choir since I guess I guess I was like four, something like that. Um, but Growing up, um, music was always a passion, but it was more of in an instrumental way. Uh, I grew up playing bass and um, having a fascination with drums. And I uh, spent the majority of my younger years focusing on that. I went to school for bass and a uh, classical upright bass. And play electric bass and play drums for my church. And that took up most of my uh, musical outlet until uh, I found singing, I guess, right after I left college. I did a couple open mics in college and just really fell in love. Mm. Now, where are you originally from, Justice? I'm originally from New Jersey. Okay. Um, I was born in the Trenton area, and I uh, was raised in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, it's the suburbs entirely. Uh, but uh, I, um, I'm i proud of being from Jersey. I think that there's a lot of talent in Jersey that it gets overlooked a lot. Well, that's definitely a good thing. I'm from Jersey also, brother. That's all right. <laughs> There's a lot of talent in this area, and uh, you're definitely among those uh, very talented uh, young persons. Now, um, describe your sound, Justice. You have a very particular sound. Can you just how do you how do you describe it? Um, it's it's kind of hard for me to describe. Uh, I, I usually use other people's descriptions. Uh, I, I guess I guess the best way to put it is um, contemporary R&B, new, newer sounding R&B, like newer sounding instruments. Um, just with a little more emphasis on, uh, I guess, a soul vocal element, uh, singing a little harder, not necessarily uh, all of the effects that new R&B utilizes, uh, just getting in the booth and trying to, trying to sing. Now, Justice, you've been uh, very active in the Philadelphia area and touring and recording all over the place. And tell us a little about what you've been doing since we last talked here. I am currently working on an EP. It's... Uh, I don't want to give a date because we're working hard on trying to try to produce something, but it's uh, going to be my first live recording uh, EP. It's just going to be three tracks, but it's going to come with a visual, and uh, it's it's going to be really good new music, original material that that I think everybody can enjoy. Now, where are you recording? What studio are you using to record? Um, right now, I'm at a couple different places. Um, I record uh, a lot of my rough drafts at. Uh, at a place in Pennsylvania, um, shout out 856 B team, and um, the the final drafts, and uh, especially since this is my first uh, live recording, um, really still uh, in the market for a home as far as the studio is concerned. Okay, now who does the production on your uh, your music? Who produces? Um, well, in the past I've uh, I've reached out to people online. Um, one of my favorite producers is uh, this guy Lewis Holler. Um, Sick, <laughs> um, but he's uh, basically strictly an online relationship. Uh, but my new projects coming up will be new material that I've arranged and produced with the help of an amazing friend and musician. Um, his name is Dante Colbert, and uh, so we're trying to get to work. Now, is that the same Dante Colbert who works with Kyle Mack? That is him. Okay, all right. Now, you work with, did some work with Kyle Mack. Uh, tell us about some of your projects you did with him. Absolutely. I got I got the pleasure to um, to sing uh, backline for him. I sang background vocals uh, for his uh, Treat Her Like a Lady and um, Here I Am. Mm -hmm. uh, we 
did a couple gigs together, and he's amazing, talented, mm -hmm. and, and, and driven individual. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was through him that I was able to uh, meet the great uh, Dr. Otis, Otis Williams. Dr. Otis Williams, the last surviving original member of The Temptations. What was that experience like for you? Uh, that was a life-changing experience. Mm -hmm. Just, just inspiration personified. My girl, ain't too proud to beg. Yeah. You know, beat his yeah. only skin deep. Get ready, just for imagination. I mean, the ultimate one, Absolutely. Dr. Otis Williams. That must have been a great thrill for you. Um, I remember coming to uh, the event, uh, the uh, album release party they had, and uh, right. you were performing uh, with Kyle on that show. Yeah, it yeah, was, it was a, it was a great time, um, mm -hmm. and it was it, it was amazing that somebody with, I mean, every accolade that you could really think of, uh, was so open and welcoming. And, approachable. Um, he was just ready to give advice and talk to us. And it, was, it was a beautiful thing to see. Can you walk us through that point where you guys came to um, Motown and y'all had to come back outside and find a name and like the struggle of coming up with the right name? And... Oh, sure. Well, at first, Barry saw my group, which was at the time called Otis Williams in the distance. And we were with a very small label called Northern Records. The lady uh, that ran it was Johnny May Matthews. So we became very uh, disenchanted with her, you know, and as fate would have it, we used to do a lot of rock and roll shows and we were at the St. Stephen's Community Center uh, doing, uh, you know, promoting our record and uh, Barry came in with uh, the Miracles and uh, we were very impressed with what was happening. So to get back to the point, we became disenchanted with uh, Johnny May went to Barry because Barry gave me his card and said, Otis, should you leave your group? I'm at your company away. Come see me. I'm signing my own label, which we did an extra amount of time later. We were, uh, uh, Johnny May kept the label, uh, the name, the distance. So we said, hey, we're young. Keep the name. And so uh, we called ourselves the Elgins for a few heartbeats. Found out it was another group called the El Elgins. So the guy, uh, one of the attorneys, Bill Mitchell, I never will forget his name. And at that time, this was before David Ruffin, Al Bryant. Eddie Kendricks, Paul Williams, Melvin Franklin, and myself, we were sitting out in front of Motown, and we were kicking around names, and Bill said, what, you, uh, what about Temptation? I said, I like that. I want to be called the Temps. So I asked the Temps, and there again, Paul. I, I said, Paul, what you think? Paul said, hey, Otis, a name is whatever we make it. Let's go with it. I said, so let's do that. So Bill called upstairs, because there was another two-story family flat. The legal department was up on the second floor and he had the young lady come and lean over the banister. He said, put on the contract, the Temptations. Woo! That was 1961. And from that point all, all the way up to now, and which, you know, I own the name. So, but uh, it was a very interesting, you know, uh, time of going through all that. Dream a like a lady.
Showcase Live, our special guest independent recording artist Justice Norwood in the house, and we got a young man that's joining us now, another extra special guest, his album is called Dr. Otis Williams, presents Kyle Mack, Shaky Ground, let's welcome Kyle Mack to the show, welcome Kyle. I'm good Tim, how are you? Were well, you coming in loud and clear, Justice, you alright there brother? Oh yeah, I'm doing good. All right. Why is Justice all the way in the corner? Right? <laughs> hey. He's the star of the show here today, but uh... But it's good to have both you guys all home with me together, and that's how I met Justice through actually through Kyle at one of your shows, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. It's funny because I also met I met you Tim through Justice, which is very weird. That's interesting. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> but it's good it's good to have you here, man. Tell us about that. You guys were working together for uh, quite a while now. Tell us about actually, your working with. Uh, I've this, known this, Justice this young forever. Ever. Yeah, I've known Justice since he was. Uh, well, I was. 17, 18, I think when I met you, so that would have made you like nine. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> well, you, you were what? 15? I think it was, uh, 15 or 16. Yeah. yeah. He was a, a year younger than me at a different high school, and I met you because I was in a band at the time that I thought was good until I watched the videos back later as an adult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but I had this drummer named John Brooks that, uh, that's also the same day I met, I met Justice the same day I met Dante Covert. Uh, because they were trying to take my drummer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We were, we were approaching. <laughs> they were trying to, but I recognize the, the the awesome talent of both Justice and mm -hmm. Dante, and uh, we stay in touch and uh, stay in touch and stay connected. Mm -hmm. Almost like what going on all, close to a decade now. Yeah, it's basically a decade. Mm -hmm. Now you two had a chance to work together on Kyle's uh, video release party and also the album release uh, for The Temptations. So Justice and Kyle, tell us a little bit about the, that experience. That right. was involved uh, at RCA, not RCA, Victor Records, which is what, they, they're affiliated with RCA in some way. Mm -hmm. um, for that, uh, it's like a museum, I think, that they have. Uh, yes, that. yes, it's, it's a, a dope venue. It's mm -hmm. a venue, it's, it was BYOB, mm -hmm. it was a very you don't want to have a lot of drunk people in there because mm -hmm. there's a lot of, of valuable stuff on the walls. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's what it was. I that was mm -hmm. a good time. Mm -hmm. Def definitely, very good time. That was uh, album release. That was the one with the album release for the Temptations. Yeah, they put out the um, mm -hmm. the Temptations All the Time mm -hmm. album uh, mm -hmm. the next day after the party, and right. uh, they were uh, I think they were selling pre-sale copies that night, and uh, also we celebrated the release of my music video that day too. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, do you, Justice uh, and, and Kyle, plan to do any more shows together, or maybe uh, I think that maybe, needs to happen. Thing? Yeah, I would love to. You know, <laughs> that needs to happen. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing something with you, a show with both you guys. Well, I mean, you have the same, pretty much the same musicians to back you up, right? We we have a collective that are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I said, as far as the, we're, we're pulling from the same the same kind of talent group, right? Yeah. The same people that we've known for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that, I mean that's that's what I was talking about earlier. Uh, you know, growing up with these guys, it's kind of like there is no excuse to not do it because everyone around you is doing it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, you know, it's all about working together. You know, independent artists, you get, you got to work together, to support each other, and uh, a lot of times you go out to see these shows, and in the audience, um, you'll see a lot of other artists and, and supporting that they're supporting each other, right, right, and things like that. So it's really, really good. I'm a big proponent of that. I, mm -hmm. I think that artists in this community need to support each other. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. And um, so you always see me at, at someone else's gig. Uh, 
I don't need, I don't want to go up there and, 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 and showboat at all. I just like to go there. I like to be entertained every once in a while, especially when it's my friends. Mm -hmm. Any artists out there on the scene here today that you enjoy listening to? Like, who's on your CD player, your iPod? So, I was heavily influenced by Stevie Wonder. Uh, that's my favorite artist of all time. I, I mean, who, who, who doesn't love Stevie? But, uh, um, also, I, I was, I grew up with a lot of uh, 90s era R&B, and um, as I came into adult, well, I guess adulthood, teenagers, but not really adult, but, uh, it's close enough. Yeah. Um, I, I was super into uh, John Legend and uh, Tyler Quilly and Most Def and just that, that, that entire movement, the, the, the movement that was inspired by Dylan, that's really what I was banging a lot. Uh, 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 Pat Boone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Motown kid. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I grew up on music of the Temptations, of course. Right. Uh, I mean, it's of course for you guys. You know it. I don't know if the Philly Cam listeners know it yet, but uh, you know, I, Marvin Gaye, the Four Tops, the Supremes. They, you know, and eventually elevated throughout the decades, where you get to like New Edition and like, and then more recently, I think my contemporary R and B artists. And I mean, contemporary R and B artists, not the. Not the RB kind of masking his trap artists, but it's the uh, like Maxwell and and Kim and Anthony Hamilton who are you know still putting out records that are that sound good and and uh, still touring and stuff like that. They're those guys like who have an incredible range and very variant different flavors of voices. Right, and I, I think there's there's a reemergence of that right right now like with, with the I guess they call it future funk or. Uh... You have to explain that one. Uh, like, like you know, uh, her and Daniel Caesar, okay, and yeah, yeah. artists like that. But the R and B was uh, growing, kind of stagnant for a while. But mm -hmm. I, right now, it's it's in a good place, I think, uh, as far as the, the new artists that are coming out. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I think um, you know, Ro James. I can't say that. Ro James. I love Ro James' voice. It's 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 a uh, he do, he does put out contemporary R and B music that that sounds current, but. He has a classic sounding rasp to his voice that I love a lot. Of. You should look him up. Um, and uh, Raheem Devon I like a lot. Right. And he's a, uh, the, what, the, the, he calls himself the love king of, of R&B. Uh, but yeah, there's artists like that that, that really uh, inspire me. I like to, uh, uh, you know, uh, I want to say imitate, but let them, mm -hmm. let them uh, uh, influence me in, in mm -hmm. some ways. Mm -hmm. Small talk. Grab me with that small talk uh. Uh, You ain't gotta act down, you ain't gotta stalk Open your mouth, stick your chest out if this is what you want I know my potential, I know exactly how I'm from Won't fight to all this, that's the type of shit you want uh, I'm too grown to be timid You too grown to be nervous Your future right here Yo, got my sutra right here. So just tell me how you feel. Flip to your flop, day to your rock. Bone your possessions to get a glimpse of what I'm worth and I'm about. You better come and get your share. Find your way on top, cause oh baby, I'm in stock. You got me, you got me. If you just speak, they should live. Do that shit slowly. Got me weak. Come and see by me, you got me at my peak I'm up and can I sleep, yes it just stay on me girl. Put your love all on me, girl. Keep that shit jumping, you got me too close Oh, I lose all control when you're too close Gotta let you know I'm done with playing games So if we going through this I can't wait another day So much pressure building Deep inside of me So come on, grab a hold it Maybe you will see Yeah, I'm too grown to be nervous But woman, you are my purpose You're my future And you're worth it Let me prove that you deserve this oh, Now don't confuse my timid talk for lies you can see the truth, girl, in my eyes that I've been waiting for you for far too long. 
to them her words made me weak My feelings strong yeah. You got me, you got me If you just be oh, yeah, yeah. patient you live through the dish slowly You got me weak at the knees Do the sea, do the sea Do the sea for me You got me at my peak I'm not thinking of sleep This is the only thing Put your love on me On a good dude, I like a pack of it up with your good play. Pipe down, baby, pipe down. Uh. Usually I'm calling in night, but the fuck is with this sweat on my neck. Gotta keep me in check. Make you hear, tell you oh, that. Kiss all over your body, and baby, just oh, tell me, man. Oh, I'll go down, no, I don't care. I don't in this game, baby, you know what it comes to I wanna know, can you show me? I wanna know about the freak inside me I wanna know, can you see, girl, I'm ready Sweet to the taste, but oh, girl, you're better Make me feel, darling, make me feel Show me your stats for your expression skills Give me the kill, pop that song, baby, cop you a fail You got me, you got me just speak, fix your lip, do the dish, you see, got me weak, and the knees, do the sea, do the sea, come and see.